if the thing hasn't frozen off. I'll be a ranger. Just you watch. Not holding my breath, brother. Well, you can go suck a cock. There's, there's a lot of cocks to go around here, mate. <laughs> you can you can polish them each at a time, taking your goddamn time with it. You're pathetic. Fuck off. You didn't even try. A crossbow's a coward's weapon. Besides, I could hit that dummy from here with my... Where is it? Where the fuck's my knife? If someone has it... I'll cut their fucking balls off! How the fuck should I know? You were the last one I showed it to! And so I'm the one to start? Well, you and... It was you! What? I didn't say anything, mate. fucking thief! It weren't me! Finn, don't. Give me my knife! I don't have it, I swear! Out of my way! Got it! Do something! Just calm down. Fight it! Oh! Ow! I won't say it again. Oh, fuck! Fuck you, Finn. I've had enough of your bullshit. <laughs> fuck you. Ow! Oh, fuck! Hey, look. Fight! Fight! Yeah, get it! Here they go again. <laughs> Uh, oh, you missed. <laughs> Bitch. T have another. Oh, shit. Ow. Shit. Get off. What is going on here? He stole my fucking knife. No, I didn't. And Garrett defended him. The last thief I caught no longer has hands. I swear I don't have it. Oh, he planted it on me. He must have hid it. <laughs> and you. I expected better, Tuttle. Instead, I find you doing this. On your first bloody day of training. Sir, Not I... Not another word. I couldn't say damn thing. You clearly need a few days scrubbing the latrines. No. Frostfinger. I need another man to top the wall. Fine. Let him freeze his... Fuck you, off. Snow. Sorry. I'll deal <laughs> I'm, with joking. I'm joking. I'm <laughs> joking. Get off! How dare Mind you? Your fucking manner. He's your leader. You do as he says. You, come with me. Okie dokie. And you, Cutter. Oh, I swear to God, I'm going to kick your ass one day. If that knife doesn't save my life at some point in this game, I will be very cross with you. <laughs> Uh, where are we off to now? This uh -huh. way. This way? I love King's Landing in the afternoon. The sun just barely kisses your skin. Mm -hmm. You used to love this place. Used to. Remember, we'd come listen to the musicians in the evening with Lady Marjorie? I have a lot on my mind. I have a lot on my mind lately. Just through here. I don't like where you're leading me. What are you doing? What are you doing? You'll see. What are you gonna do? Thing? Queen Cersei's finest wine. Are you mad? Are you fucking mad? Come on, sit down. You're going to get us both in trouble. Relax. Nobody will miss it, I assure you. Are you sure? <laughs> are you damn damn sure? I don't want any. I don't drink. A little won't hurt. It's just wine. No. Oh. I don't drink. <sighs> Suit yourself then. You can drink yourself, for all I care. So, I, uh... Yes? God, are you an alcoholic? Well, I just... Yes? I'm not very good at this sort of thing. Don't worry, neither am I. <laughs> Listen, if I tell you this, 
Mira, you must promise to keep it to yourself. You can tell no one. <sighs> I want to trust you, but I oh, need fine. You to promise. I swear, I won't tell a soul. My mother was a handmaiden to Lady Elena for many years. Yeah. She became pregnant. With you? It was a disgrace to her family. <gasps> oh, no, don't tell me. My true name is Sarah. Flowers. You're a bastard? Yes. Yep. And who's the father? I'm fortunate to be where I am. I know that. But to always have to hide. What is your father? Who is he? I don't know. My mother died not long after my birth. Oh, okay. So she can tell you. I'm sorry. I'm... I'm so sorry, Sarah. It's just... I don't want to be Sarah Flowers forever. You want to be married? I need Lady Marjorie to arrange a marriage for me. Okay. It's my chance at a life. A family of my own. Who do you want to marry? Do you have someone in mind? Someone you'd wish to marry? I'd have you. To I'm a girl. Lesbianism is not allowed here. Well, first. No, officially. I know she often confides I don't know, actually. in you, and I was hoping that maybe yes. Sometime when she comes to you wanting to talk, you might suggest she talk to me instead. Oh. Give me a chance to win her over. Coming from you, it sure. Why would I do that? Please, of course I will. Mira. Of course, Sarah. Thank you, Mira. It's okay. Thank you. It's okay. Like... I'm so sorry. Here I am talking about myself. Oh, you should. I know distracts me from my own problems. Much greater than mine, with what happened to your brother, and your father. Oh yeah, she doesn't know her brother's life. That's true. You sure you won't have any? You look like you could use a drink. No, I'm fine, thank you. Hmm, a conspiracy of handmaidens. Lord Tyrion. Always. My lord. Ladies. Gents. No, sorry. What have we here? Alcohol. If you mean to drink from that flagon, you're going about it the wrong way. I don't know what to it, say. It's not what it looks like. We were just... Just airing the wine? Yep. Telling her that. With our tongues. <laughs> not the finest Arbor Red, but a favorite of my sister's. Quite expensive for a handmaiden. <laughs> I'd be curious to know how you got hold of it. Since I'm certain my sister didn't give it to you, she won't even share with me. Though that's hardly surprising. I took, it. I took the wine from the cellars. Aren't you full of surprises? I suggest bringing cups next time. There are risks worth taking. Stealing wine from the Queen Regent isn't one of them. Especially if you wish to have an alliance with me. Yeah, okay. Things have changed. Really? My father has recently taken an interest in Ironwood. Has he now? Most of the Royal Navy went up in green flames. Mm. Oh, it so. must be rebuilt. He insisted okay. I handle things myself. I'm on my way to meet representatives of Lord Whitehill. Lord Whitehill? He's hired a pair of merchant lords to broker for his house. It would seem Lord Whitehill wishes to sell the Ironwood right out from beneath your family. Mm. I don't know much about the man, but judging by his up-jumped swords, negotiating with him you wasn't pleasant. You shouldn't trust You can't trust Lord Whitehill. I don't intend to. Mm. Come with me. Come with me. These men and think I have no choice but to deal with them. So pure Imagine imagination. their surprise when I bring a forester to the table. Take a look and just see It might see be the first one I've had in months. All... Clammy! Sorry. My lady. <laughs> I don't know, I was thinking of a word. As you see, she takes another swig. <laughs> you have a problem. <laughs> oh, hello. I love your armor. have been waiting here for an hour. Andros, be courteous. Courtesy in a merchant. Like finding gold in your chamber pot. Hi. Apologies. How you doing? Who is this? Some girl you've brought for entertainment. 
She's a lady, Lord Andros. Oh, I'm a, f a mirror. My name is Mira Forrester. Oh yeah, start to panic now. Need to get Mira Forrester. Yep. Why are you here? A fair question. We were told we would be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. This is no place for a Forrester. Perhaps you should ask Lord Tyrion. I asked you. Andros. She's here for the same reason you are, Ironwood. I'm sorry, Lady Mira, but we've already spoken to Lord You Tyrion. spoke, I listened. Lady Mira has since persuaded me to consider her offer first. I didn't say anything. Now, if you'll excuse us. You're going to dismiss You can't us? do this. I Apparently you can. I can. This is a mistake, my lord. I don't think He'll so. decide for himself, if you don't mind. Lord Whitehill will hear of this. I hope so. He's not a man to take such matters lightly. Nor am I. That's enough, Andrew. Tell whomever you wish, my lord. It's no concern of mine. We'll see about that. Lord Tyrion. Mm hmm. Lord Tyrion, do let me know when you've come to a decision. I'd like the opportunity to change your mind. This one's more Lady polite, Mira. therefore more skilled Good in that day, in the gentlemen. matter of merch oh, of diplomacy. Ah, well, that was fun. It was actually. Now, as for your offer, what did you have in mind? Hmm. My lord. The crown's ironwood. I assume you have a proposition. Hmm. Let me think. Had a reason for coming here. You invited me. I know it wasn't just to entertain me. No, supply My family would. can supply all that the crown needs. You're suggesting the foresters be our sole supplier of ironwood. They're the only ones who know how Lord to use Whitehill it. Will be left in the cold. If he wishes to sell to the crown, he'll have to do so through your family. Yes. You'll have him at your mercy. Or. You'll bring your houses to open war. You do know that's a possibility, don't you? Then that's a risk I'll have to take. Yep. Please accept. I'll consider the arrangement. Hmm. Of course, you'd have to do something for me in return. Bugger. Don't worry. The terms will be fair. What is it you want? You'll know soon enough. Okay. We have an understanding then. Thank you, my lord. But the problem is, is that you said you'll think about it, and then you tell me this that I have to do something, so you don't necessarily us, agree with my or proposition. Very bad for you. For your sake, I hope it's the former. Yeah, I hope so too, mate. My lady. Yes. Hmm. Are you loyal to Tyrion or are you a spy? Back in Yonkai. Covered in blood. Seriously, are they all over the city? Wow. Hi everyone. Can't really move anywhere. Move along, yeah. Whew. They were headed for the main gate. I know another way. You come in with us then. Uh, you love me. You're to save Come on. Your house. You'll need more than the two of us at your side. You'll need an army. That's why you're here, isn't it? To hire one. And to get, and to get me back. I'm an gonna... army of cell sorts. And a man to lead them. Oh. Do you hear what I'm saying, boy? I can lead them. I can lead an army. I know you can. I've always known it. Your father was blind to that. None of that matters without cell swords to hire, and all the companies around here. Are we going to go get engaged. the Golden Company? Well, no, no, they're. I'm not going to say anything. What about Croft? One-eyed Croft with the second sons. 
Oh. They're all with a Targaryen girl now. Yeah. So we have to appeal to Roth Targaryen. Owes me a favor. I'm pretty oh. sure he hates you, actually. No. <laughs> He'll help us. I'll make sure of it. <laughs> and how are you going to do that? Uh. He didn't part on the best of terms. I'll figure something out. I'll figure something out. Not exactly a plan, though, is it? Don't worry. He'll get it done. I'm lucky that way. You worried Malcolm. <laughs> Well, this mother of dragons and her cell swords are headed north, so we make for Marine. Wait, Marine. Marine. Shit. What? What about Marine? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. We can't afford any distractions. It's not your problem. It'll be fine. I promise. I trust you, mate. Well, it's girl. fine, mate. I trust you, Vesca. I shouldn't have said anything. It's okay. I said I was with you, little brother. And I meant it. Yeah, I know. Oh, hi. Shit, shit. Hi. Ponte Renas. Oh, hello. Yunkai, and Josie, but Dagon Costotti Tao. Can you leave Yunkai? Well, fuck you. Fuck at you. Mr. Tazal, I think that was it. Tazal. You're all ugly as shit. Hi. Shit, 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 shit. Parker, Parker. Parker, Parker, Parker. Comes to it. Okay. Just one more we'll have to kill later. Let's go. Yeah, but if we kill him, you did well they'll bring others. You acted like a true leader. You two can talk about it. Later. I actually only followed we what you were saying, but yeah. They won't I see stop what I mean. looking for us. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. I hope you're ready, Asher. I hope so too, mate. It won't be easy. Just try to keep up, Uncle. <laughs> Don't you worry about me. Yeah, you made it. You made it here Either quickly. Either we cross the narrow sea with an army at our backs, or House Forrester will not survive to see winter. Yet God knows the winters are long over here. Uh, pu -pu 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 -pu. Mm. Oh, girly girl again. My Mira's quarters, King's Landing. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> Snake? Are you here? <laughs> Where is it? Okay, there it is. Like, she's turning all by herself. Like, she's drunk. <laughs> no one here? I suggest this looking through first. Uh, uh, peak. No one. Okay. Uh, open. Have people been... What's this? Someone's been shuffling through my papers? Hmm. Hang on. Desk. What have they been looking for? Papers? The letters from my family. What would someone want with them? Is it the merchants? Is it Cersei? Hmm. <coughs> Pens. What's missing? Everything's still here. Okay. So they didn't show, uh, look thoroughly for things. So they probably found what they were looking for, or they had no idea what they were looking for. They were just trying to find something, anything. What's this? What? Was someone going through my books? So they had no idea what they were looking for. 
That's my assumption. Broken vase. Vase, whatever you want to call it. Someone threw off. And why would someone do this? Hmm. Especially, why would they just leave it like that? Did they leave in a hurry? Huh. Huh. This feels like, <laughs> this feels a bit like uh, <laughs> the world among us. Mira. A letter. Hmm. I have information that will aid you with the imp. Meet me with in the, the gardens at midnight. Uh, it might be Cersei. Who would call him the imp? Everyone calls him the imp, but she calls him the monster, doesn't she? Uh, the imp, maybe there. this. <coughs> that should last through Lady Elena's Anyways. visit at least. There's been no news from Mira. She may not have found a way to help with Elena. We'll be fine, Mother. I, I didn't really press that right. hard, but... Lord Glenmore's army could keep us from ruin. Yep. But Elena must still agree to the marriage. <clears throat> so I have to be overly charming. You remind Lady Elena that in terms of lineage, you are still very much a man. Maester. <laughs> what I mean is, if the two of you wanted to produce an heir, it should not be a concern. How would you know that? I just meant that since there's no <laughs> obvious damage that... Enough. Maester, <laughs> just remember. You looked at my balls. In you. In you, too. <laughs> you tested the. I don't mean to burden you with unwanted advice, but this is an important day for all of us. Thank you, mother. This advice well taken. Yep. I'm just so glad to see you home. I know. My lord, she's here. <sighs> <sighs> okay, let's get married, people. Or let's try and get married. Roderick? Hi. How you doing? Ugh. Hi. You look... You're really... I know, I'm unspeakably handsome. I see you haven't lost your sense of humour. <laughs> <laughs> no. Just two limbs and half a face. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Have a seat, love. You look pretty. You look lovely in that dress, actually. You look very charming. I'm, I'm trying to find the word more than charming. Exquisite. So, here we are. You look beautiful, that's one thing. You look as beautiful as ever, Elena. Oh, thank you. I set out for Ironrath as soon as I heard you were alive. My father suggested I wait, but... I can't believe it's been two years. Two years? It was name day feast. We danced until the sun came out. Hmm. But now your house prepares for a funeral. And you... What about me? Tell me the truth, Roderick. How are you, really? And please, be honest with me. I don't mean to pry, but... I won't lie. I won't lie. Every day is a battle. I can only imagine. So much has changed since we were children. Playing hide and seek in the grove. And... You're so easy to find. You always hid behind the same tree. Yep. <laughs> Maybe I wanted you to find me. I know I always wanted to find you. But Roderick, <laughs> I um, I need to ask you something. Yes. When I arrived at Ironrath today. Your courtyard was filled with drunken soldiers. Oh. White Hill soldiers. They said some terrible things. The White Hills are your oldest enemies, Roderick. Why are they here? <sighs> Has something happened? We weren't given a choice. Those soldiers are here at the orders of the Bolton. That's horrible. Bruce Bolton must mean to occupy Iron. No, he just wants to... Sure, our loyalty. Hmm. I'm going to be honest with you, Roderick. Yes. I have always looked forward to our marriage. So have I. But in light Even of all before I knew about your family, <laughs> my father is questioning the wisdom of our betrothal. But what about you? He wants me to call it off. What do you want? 
And what do you want? I've been asking myself the same question. And frankly, I'm torn. I'm torn. I don't care about your scars, Roderick. I love the boy you were. <clears throat> and I can love the man you are. But my family can't get drawn into a war with the Boltons. <clears throat> They're the Wardens of the North. And they flay their enemies. You and I can overcome anything. I once thought so too. I still think it. But I have to be practical. Elena. Please. It doesn't matter how we feel. How can I ask my father to <clears throat> risk everything? Even for you. Because I love you, Elena. That's not going to work. Roderick. I wish that was enough. I'm sorry. But I have to think of my family. Bugger. I'm going to tell father the betrothal is off. Yeah, shit. If it helps, we can delay the announcement. It'll give you time to get your affairs in order. Deepest apologies, my lord. I tried to stop him, but he... So, the rumors are true. You have no right to just... And if it isn't Elena Glenmore. You're not still marrying into this wretched family. My father has not yet made a decision. Well, for what it's worth, you can do much better than this cripple. And my son Griff needs a bride. What do you want, Whitehill? <coughs> what do I want? Ask your mother. Hmm? She invited me here. You That's me? not true. I sent a raven to Lord Whitehill about letting Brian attend the funeral. But I never expected him to barge in like this. Oh, she practically begged me to come. Of course, I'd want the same in her position. The youngest son home to mourn his dead father. Let him come. Brother. <coughs> Ryan belongs at that funeral. With his family. Not until I'm certain that you know your place. Is that right? Lord Ramsay ordered your family to obey my soldiers until my son Griff arrives from Harrenhal. Harrenhal. Oh now, God! I hear you're ordering them around and keeping them dull on wine. It makes me start to question your obedience. Obedience. Lud, enough of this. I do not have to obey. See, that's just the kind of arrogance I'm talking about. Sure. Here's the idea. We're going to make a fresh start, you and I. Your brother Ethan was so self-righteous, it made me sick. But you're a different man entirely, aren't you? So, if you want Ryan at that funeral, show Lady Elena you respect <coughs> your betters. Kneel and kiss my shiny ring. Just do it, Roderick. No. You don't want to end up like your brother, do you? Please. It means nothing. And we'll get to see Ryan again. I'm not kissing your ring. Do what you must. Fine. I'll just tell Ryan you didn't want to see him. No, please. And because of your defiance, I'm taking what should have been mine in the first place. Mm -hmm. The other half. Of the Ironwood Forest. You can't do Ramsey that. Snow I said... know what Ramsey said. I'm saying something else. As of today, I harvest Ironwood from wherever the fuck I please. And you can't do a bloody thing to stop me. Would you defy an express order from House Bolton? I've known Roose Bolton my whole life. As long as he gets his Ironwood, he won't care. Yeah, but well, <laughs> do you really think Ramsey will see it that way? I'll leave it to your business. <laughs> oh, by the way, my men have a name for you. Roderick the Ruined. Isn't that clever? Not pretty. He's always been a brute. I'm just glad you didn't submit to him. Mm. You'd put your pride ahead of your family. I'd put my family's What's honor. What's Paul Ryan going to think? Oh that we've abandoned him? 
We can't afford to show weakness, Mother. It would have been a minor sacrifice. No, it wouldn't. He would have just he would have just had the ego enlargement and taken the wood anyway. But this way he knows what he's up against. It's a fair fight. My lord. Are you well? No, I'm not. This fight isn't over. Not even close. <clears throat> Anyways. Meanwhile, at the wall. Whew. Oh god, I have vertigo. Well, I have fear of heights. Not vertigo. <sighs> what time is it? You can't be fighting with the other Goodness. Opponents. You need those men to have your back. There's enough out here trying to kill us without trouble amongst our own. Finn's a bully. Couldn't just let him push me around. Fight every bully at Castle Black and that's all you'll ever do. <laughs> or just this one. I'm Garrett. Frostfinger told me about you. Seems to think you might be trouble. I might well be. You might be right. He said worse about me. Did he? I don't remember that in the series. <laughs> He said, you fought for the north with the foresters. You were there, at the twins. Oh, yes. Spoiler. I still don't understand. Three thousand men, and not one could save my brother. He was... I wasn't there. Why didn't anyone fight back? Why didn't they rally to their king? Nobody was expecting it. One minute we were drinking and telling jokes, and, and the next... The phrase cut us open. Yeah. Those cowards. Couldn't face Rob like men, so they stabbed him in the back. Yeah. They couldn't even give him an honorable death. Let him die fighting. Your brother would have won the North's freedom. He, he would have. To be that's king. the worst thing. He was so he was good ridiculous. He just did one mistake, and that's everything. cost him his life, the war, his family, now the phrase, everything. River Run, and the Boltons are wardens of the North. After what they did, it's not right. They murdered my family. I should have been there. Oh, I wish I come point. I keep thinking if I'd been there, I could have done something. Yeah. But chances are, I'd be dead too. Yeah, that too, mate. Whatever I once thought, my place is here. And anyways, With the nice what watch. happened happened now. You can only try and make it better, or give it meaning at least. You have to live. You have to prove everyone wrong that you are a survivor. That's what life is in the end, isn't it? Survival. There are those here who will hate you for who you are. Southerners who will call you traitor. Northerners who will call you craven. Some won't even have a reason. Yeah. They'll hate you anyway. <laughs> you can't do anything about it. Trust me, I know. I can't just ignore them. No good will come of doing otherwise. Most of the men are criminals, forced to take the black. You were a squire for a noble house. Yeah. What happened to you today happened to me more times than I can count. <laughs> I learned there's nothing more important than having brothers you trust. Who do I trust? <sighs> okay, we're walking. We're following Jon Snow. To see the, the north, the, yeah, the north, well, the... Land beyond the walls. I felt the same first time I saw it. I heard you want to be a ranger. Why? Uh, Why risk your life out there? Because winter is coming. Winter is coming. I want to fight. You'll have your chance. Don't worry. Not many recruits want to be rangers. They'd rather stay here where they think they'll be warm and safe. But 
Mance Raider marches on the wall with a hundred thousand wildlings. I've seen them for myself. Oh, this is just before the battle. Oh, fuck. Thieves, rapers. You won't like most of them, and they won't like you. But they're your brothers now. Can you stand with them? I can certainly try, mate. Can you see past your differences? I'll stand with them. Glad to hear it. I have to try. He's right. I'd say you'll get used to the cold, but you won't. For better or for worse, we're in this all together. Better get by a fire, or you'll end up like Frostfinger. <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, that was interesting. Hi. Back in King's Landing, are we? I sense this is a plot to try and um, get me arrested, I think. I'm here, but where are you? <laughs> Whoever you are. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, okay, we can move about. Who's who's there? Anyone? Anyone at all? Uh. I don't care. Who are you? Figure. Uh. Where do you think oh. you're going? Uh. At this time of night. I'm eating some. I'm meeting someone. It's a little late to be out, isn't it? Why, is there a curfew I don't know about? Do you know what this uniform means? It means you suck dicks for a living? It means you serve the Lannisters. So, you best get yourself back to your chambers. And I mean, now. If you don't like it, you can take it up with the commander. Can't I just stay a while longer? Please? Did you not hear me? <laughs> At ease, Lucan. Oh, it's you! The lady is with me. Yes, sir. Sir? Ooh, he's your commander. Enjoy your night. So you do suck dick for a living. <laughs> I hope he wasn't bothering you. I'm Damien. He's only doing his job, actually. Did you write a note? You were in the throne room earlier. Did you leave me this note? I did. Why? I'm very glad you could make it. I've been wanting to talk to you for quite some time. Did you search Did my... you search my room? What were you looking for? Nothing, Lady Mira. I only wish to leave you a note. Then why was anything moved? Hmm? Hmm. Should I trust you? I am sorry about this, Mira. But you've made enemies of the wrong people. Eh, it was bound to happen. A handmaiden should know her place. What? What are you talking about? I'll make this quick if that helps. I'd hate to see you suffer. What? <gasps> what? <laughs> shit, 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 shit. <laughs> you bastard. Oh. Yeah. Let her go. Oh shit, run boy. Run boy. Oh shit, I thought this would, might have been a love interest. Oh shit. I can't let the boy die. But the other one's gonna come and he's gonna he's gonna see, he's gonna I'm gonna get arrested. But the boy's still alive. Run, run boy. You what what happened? Uh bad things. What was that? 
What does it look like? He tried to kill me. Why would he do that? I don't know. Who is he hired by? What are you doing here? Tyrion? Yelling. Seriously? Marjorie? Hmm. You did what you had to do, Lady. He said the imp. If you worked for choice. Tyrion, you wouldn't use that word. Someone unless, might see me. Uh, no, I actually would. I know a few places in Fleetwood. <laughs> no one will ever find him. Good luck, and be careful. Thanks. Be safe, boy. Everything all right, sir? <gasps> Dispose of the knife. Damien, where are you? Uh, shit. Uh... Uh, toss a knife. It's probably a bad idea to find it and not that something happened, but fuck it. If they find it on me. No, oh, but he knows. Uh, I'll just say that I left. I don't like lying, but fuck it. Ethan. Father. Hi. What's Gwyn Whitehill doing here? Hi, Gwyn. No idea. I was wondering who Hello, you were. Roderick. Sir Ryland. It's been a while since we've met. Yes. Last time I saw you, you and my brother had almost started a war. <laughs> your father wanted to murder Asha for your little love affair, remember? Don't be mean to her. That was a long time ago. May we speak privately? Of course. My lady. Roderick, I came here because I know how hard these past few days must have been for you and your family. Thank you. I know my words probably mean nothing to you. Thank you, Gwyn. I'm so sorry, Roderick. It's okay. Your brother didn't deserve this. No, he didn't. Neither of them did. Listen, I know my father is intent on using Ryan as a hostage. But I think you deserve some news of him. Mm -hmm. I know it's little consolation. But if I can offer you this, it's something at least. So you have news of Ryan? Yes. Tell me. He's well. Not happy, but just know your brother is safe at High Point. High Point. I'm looking okay. after him. But what? Oh, good. You're looking. The out. other day he said something that made me worry. What? He asked me if his father died because he was a coward. He asked if he was really a thief and a traitor, like my father says. I don't wish to upset you, but... Please help I him. I thought you should know. Please help him, Gwyn. Don't let him believe what your father tells him. I've been doing my best to set him right. But he is only a child. He feels forgotten. Alone. I know that's my fault. He's waiting for his family, but every day my father tells him they will never come. That they've chosen their pride over him. And with each passing day, those words start to sound like truth. We all think of him every day, trying to find a way to bring him back to us. Will you tell him that? Of course. But if you truly want to bring Ryan home, this war has to end. And we have to you sink into the ground. We don't have to be enemies, Roderick. Trying to find a future for him. Hello, Gwyn. Oh, Talia. It's good to see you, Talia. I don't I like the look on your face. Your don't be mean to her. Roderick, you should speak to Mother. I know. Hi. Mother, come join the others. He should be here. He should be with his family. But instead they send her. Gwen came here on her own. She wanted us to know Ryan is okay. It's happening all over again. I can see it. My oh, father's yeah. house was once mighty like this one. Yeah, same and thing his happened to your family. The Targaryens cost us dearly. Mm. I watched as countless of our kin fell, saw our land destroyed, everything we clung to was ripped from our hands. Yeah. I can't watch that same fate before this family. Our house. My children. They will take everything from us. Our family is strong, Mother. We will not fall. 
Many men are strong, and still the night takes them. I don't like where this is going. You must be ready to defend us, Roger. I've heard this Your body may be before. damaged, but your spirit must be like iron. You yeah. let nothing stand in your way, do you understand? That's what I've been doing. If you have to murder every last White Hill down to the babes in their beds. What? No matter what, you must do it. Promise me. You must protect them. It won't come to that. We will defeat them. War I'm not going to kill babes. Not prepared to give. You must be ready. Promise me. We will be ready, Mother. Mira, Asher, even Garrett. They all stand with us. Yeah. We are strong. It'll take time. Yes. But this will end. I suppose we have to be. Would you say a few words, my lord? Hmm. <clears throat> testing, testing, one, two, three. Is this mic on? <laughs> my father. Not the moment. He was everything. Everything I ever wanted to be. He showed me. I know you choose to be a lord. He was always honourable. I never knew a better man. And I am. I am sorry. I love you, father. I love you too, son. Ah, a ghost! Kill him! <laughs> Ethan. Oh. My little brother. Baby boy. He was a true lord. When I left, he was just a boy. But when his house needed him, he rose to the task. Yes, he did. Like a lord. He would have been proud. I miss you both. We honor Lord Gregor Forrester. My husband. My love. And our Lord Ethan, my sweet little boy. <laughs> but now is time what to is say that? goodbye. What is it? Coins? To put on the eyes? Coins for the ferryman? Father and son are returned to the earth, to the ice. And from their sacrifice. Oh no, it's seeds to grow new trees. I am from ice. Iron, iron, from iron from ice. Iron from ice. Oh, I'm actually quite sad. Not yours. And yours. You're gonna sing for us, Gurney. Go ahead, I won't disturb you. From eyes, from eyes, we fall, still born. To eyes, we all return. Ah, oh, the brother, I've sworn, I've sworn. To guard this rest you've earned I'd bear my neck to will in pain And swim the shivering sea Pain slavers pay in crimson rains To bring Ethan back to me Final words faced with the sword, chilled Ramsey to the bone. You will not have her. I am Lord, and I protect my own. Fight on, fight on.
That was lovely. I don't know what you people thought. Nope. I said nope. I said nope. There we go. <laughs> it was just going on every time I was trying to press, press uh, the pause button, but no, it's still going on. Well, that was lovely. That was fantastic. That was an excellent episode. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys and girls like You know what I mean. I hope you mates liked it. Uh, and I'm looking forward to the third and the other episodes. Like, this is, this is grand. It's sad. I hope I do get to convince her to marry me because... As much as much as we do need their um, their armies, I can see that it's d despite the fact it's an arrangement. It's also the fact that they do have feelings for each other, and I do hope I can convince them in everything. But anyways, uh, <laughs> and other things like uh, I wonder what's going to happen on the road to where is it? Marine with Asher, who looks just like me, <laughs> except with more hair. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting to see. Uh, what else is interesting? Uh, I imagine there'll be the Battle of the Wall of the Wildlings, and we'll play Garrett and and I'll try. I'll try next time. Uh, I, I'll forget it because by the time it comes out, but I'll try and remember to to like trust my fellow uh, my fellow gits, as it were. <laughs> So anyways, as I said before, hope you guys liked it, and um, I'll see you in the next episode. And uh, so, 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 bye-bye, everyone. <laughs>